number nine, Artemiev and Oliveira. Been an entertaining fight so far. And we've seen different sequences as Artemiev opened up fast. Oliveira came on strong, got to the inside, and Artemiev has recaptured, doing well on the outside. Here are the numbers in the eighth round. You can see Artemiev with a clear edge in that round. And slowly, his numbers have been creeping further apart than Oliveira. And Oliveira's on. Oliveira's fighting a good battle tonight. Artemiev just looks that much better. Yeah, it's really come down to a conditioning fight, and it's not to say that Oliveira's not in condition, but Artemiev just seems to be in better shape right now. And that, of course, would show on your card. Remember, this was a quote. This was tied at 38, as I recall. Good memory after four rounds, and now Artemiev taking control. Earlier in this round, you saw a good reason for why he's doing so well. He landed three punches. Oliveira circled around and took 15 seconds to get in and take some punches in. Both men started to show a few marks of this war also. A little nick under the eye of Oliveira. And the reddening on Artemiev, too, under both eyes. And look where Oliveira's hands are now. This sets up for Artemiev. They're wide. He's a big target, even though he's a smaller fighter. Every time he opens the, the hands and puts them apart, Artemiev comes on. Artemiev doing more movement with the upper body with the, than with the feet right now. It's costing him. Oliveira pushing his punches out now. Now you saw Artemiev, he came in there squared up. It's like a trade-off. You don't get the same power, but he covers up easily because he was in a squared up position. He didn't get hit, but he didn't do much damage. Well, that time, a four-punch combination from Artemiev, but he took three in return from Oliveira. Oliveira's getting a little bit more careless. End of round nine, there will be three minutes of boxing left, and Artemiev starting to get a big edge. John, how you doing? Artemiev preparing to go for his final round against Ray Oliveira, who's been absolutely game and has fought him. Really fought him. The numbers through the first nine rounds starting to be a pretty clear-cut edge now for Artemiev. Especially rounds now where he's winning by 20. Don't forget how subjective judging is. This is Artemiev's fight all the way as far as numbers and how it looks. But the only ones that count are the three judges at ringside. been totally dominant and fought almost a perfect fight for the last five rounds. The numbers show it. He's pulling away. Oliveira's pouring with his punches. And this is Artemiev's fight to this point. And yeah, the movement of Oliveira is just not there anymore. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is a little weak. You're seeing why Artemiev should be able to win a lot of fights by decision, but won't knock many fighters out with this kind of an attack. He squares up a lot, gets punches in, but doesn't really sit down on them much and get them off in the power department. At some point, he will have to do that in his career. Even though he's knocked out five of his last seven opponents, but most of them have been less than household names. This is 
it's been a clinic fire to me over the last couple of rounds, especially getting his jabs in and doing a good number. seconds left in this fight and I, I don't believe the decision is in doubt but as you said sometimes you see some strange things good finish by Oliveira Oliveira trying to up on, Olive, on uh, Artemi and Oliveira thinks he won the fight he did fight him, I gotta say that. He did fight him well, and there was concern in the corner of Artemiev about how the fight was going on a scorecard. You don't know if they really felt that or they used it as a motivational technique. We'll probably find out after this. What a reminder that next week we will be in San Diego. You'll be with me once again, Davey. It'll be he Jesus Salud versus Jesus Paul. No problem remembering the first names. Is it? And Salud put on one of the most entertaining performances of the year against Zavala in July. That place should be rocky. And then at 11 o'clock, right after that, the Sports Center special from Las Vegas, a preview of the Riddick Bowe Evander Holyfield fight. That'll be right after Top Rank Boxing next week, 11 o'clock Eastern Time, 8 o'clock Pacific. Al Bernstein and Charlie Steiner will be along for that. So we await the decision here. Let's take a look at the numbers for the fight, and you can see a 38-punch difference. And a substantial power-punching total was going in Artsimiev's direction as the fight wore on. He probably had about 40 more power punches in this bout. So the judges taking a long time here, and that oftentimes will mean some strange and diverse scores from the judges. Discussion going on. It's like going over a photo finish in horse racing or something, or an objection. That's right. I didn't see any interference in there, did you? Let's finally find out from Michael Buffer, who just gave me a look. Ladies and gentlemen, go to the scorecards. Lou Bagash scores the bout 98-94. He has it for Oliveira. Bob Ravik scores the bout 97-94. He has it for Artemia. And Glenn Feldman scores the bout 98-92 for the winner by split decision. Sergei Well, once again, we talk about divergent scores, and they couldn't be any more divergent than that. 98-94 one way, and two other judges with a five and six point difference the other way. Artemia Buena.